hit. I yep. got one hitting too. Oh! Pretty nice one. Oh yeah, Phil's, yeah he's fighting, oh look at that. There you go. That's a bigger fish there. What do you want? Oh, look at him go. <laughs> Hey everybody, Doug Gardner here with Living to Fish TV and I'm here with a good friend of mine, Andy Traster. We have frigid temperatures in western Pennsylvania. All the lakes are frozen, so that means one thing, that's ice fishing. Andy and I were out on a local pond chasing some bluegills and bass and crappie and uh, it's windy. We'll see what happens. Andy just got one. Hopefully it'll be a little bit bigger on the next one. Stay tuned, we're hoping for a good day. What do you have there, Andy? Bluegill. Bluegill. Uh-huh. Nice little bluegill. What did you catch them on? A uh, red worm. Do you have a jig or anything? Or nope, just... just straight red worm. All right. Well, that's a little bit bigger than the last one. Yeah, a little bit, yep. All right. See if you can catch his big brother. I'll give it a try. There's one right there. Oh, he's fighting pretty good. I almost feel like he must have came over and whacked my line. Uh, oh, nice little bluegill. Nice little bluegill. Nice little bluegill. All right, we're catching fish. Yep. Nothing of big size yet, but we're having fun. There's supposed to be a few uh, bass and crappie in this uh, pond that we're fishing. But all we're catching right now are bluegills, but it's a lot of fun. Hopefully we can get some bigger ones. Uh, we're not lighting the world up on fire with fish, but we are catching some. We're having some fun. And uh, at this point right now, what I'm using here, I'm not sure if you can see this. This is called a maggot drop tungsten jig. This is a 132nd ounce jig, and I've tipped it with a butterworm. And Andy, what are you, you're just using regular old... Red, red worms, worms on a plain red. old hook, but yep. uh, to be quite honest with you, they're they're probably catching about the same. I think maybe the jig is helping a little bit more, but not a whole lot more. So yeah. we're gonna keep plugging away. We'll see what happens. We're having fun. Oh, there we go. That looks like a nicer one. Uh, 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 about another the same one. size. <laughs> It has a little more meat to him, though. Yeah, he swallowed it, too. Didn't yeah, he, he did. Come on, open up. Let's see. At least we're not getting skunked. We're catching... Ow, he got me good on that one. We're catching fish. Let's put him right down. There he goes. Down he goes. All right, guys, I think what we're going to do, I mean, we've been catching some fish here. There's just not a whole lot of size to what we're catching. So uh, Andy and I decided that we're going to go and punch a couple other holes in some other areas. Hopefully we can get into some deeper water. So we're going to wrap things up here and just move a little bit and see what happens. Feels like a little better one, Andy. Yeah, dandy. Not a little bit bigger, a little heavier. All right, we're starting to get a little more size here. We made a move to a couple different holes. We thought maybe it'd be a little deeper water, and uh, right now we got a bigger fish. So we'll see what happens. A little bit bigger. I'm getting a bite here. Oh, I'm getting a bite. Maybe not. Oh. 
you got one? Yeah. <laughs> Where is he? Oh yeah. A little nice nicer, one. aren't they? Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Went with the butterworm. Butterworm. All right. Good little fish right there. Let me see. Oh yeah. Put them back in the hole. <laughs> wow. What the heck? You got a bass on, I bet. Must be. Oh, yeah, it's a bass. Oh, yeah, nice bass, too, Andy. There it is. Good job. That's about the size of the one I caught. Yeah. You engulf it? He did pretty good at it. Alright, right, Andy got a nice bass. Good one. Look how dark he is. Yeah. Yeah, look at the size of that thing. Not bad at all, huh? No. Put him down in? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want to go down in. There you go. <laughs> Oh, pretty nice one. Oh yeah, Phil's yeah he's fighting. Oh look at that. There you go. That's a bigger fish there. What do you want? Oh look at him go. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a bigger fish. That's got to be a bass. And he's running all over the place. Oh, I thought my line just broke. He got a good one on. Yeah, that's a bass. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, nice one. All go. right, dog. Not as big as yours, but it's still it's a bass. Pretty nice one. Yeah, I think we're into the bass now. Yeah, getting some bass, catching just catching a lot more fish. That's what we're after right here. Well, actually, we're after anything to be honest with you. Yeah. But it's not a bad looking little bass, so we're gonna get him back into the water. There we go. Good. Got him. Yeah, something like, ooh, a little bluegill, I'm guessing. Man, he's moving all over the place, though. <laughs> all right. The move worked. Yeah. I actually caught a few bass in this new spot. And it uh, seems like the bluegills are a little bit bigger, too. So we're still waiting for that crappie. Seems like as soon as I put it on the bottom. Yeah, they hit it. Yeah. Uh, it must be right on the bottom. It must be. Anytime I put it down there, like I just had another hit as soon as I got it down there. Yeah. And they're like laying yep. right, right on right the there. bottom. See that? Oh, yeah. You get one too? Yeah. Jeez. As soon as I put it on the bottom, that's when it hits. That's running. There we go. Not too bad. No. Butterworm, they're working. Get them? Oh. Yeah. oh, yeah. Not very big, though. We caught smaller ones. And get them unhooked. There we go. Hey, there we got them. <laughs> oh, look at that one. He's huge. Nice big <laughs> bluegill. Yeah. Come on, let me get you unhooked there, buddy, and put you back in the water. There you go. I did. Crappy! All right. Woo. All right, we did catch a crappy. We got one finally. I'm thinking getting a bite right here, too. Okay. Ah, missed them. Pretty nice little crappy there. 
Maybe that was what I was catching, or trying to. It might be why they were so hard to catch. All right, guys, we are finished for the day. Andy and I had a great day fishing here in western Pennsylvania. We were fishing on a local pond. Thanks to a local farmer who allowed us to fish his pond. We caught a bunch of fish. We caught, what, uh, three largemouth bass, two crappie, a bunch of bluegills. But uh, anytime you get to go out, just enjoy the outdoors. It was a great day. So, as always, we want to thank you for watching Living the Fish TV.